I am Jamarcus Henderson. I'm from South Carolina. And yeah. Okay. What's your player's number this season? My number is three. Why three? Does it have a special meaning? No, nah, like at number three first, I wanted 99, but somebody took that. <gasps> or number seven, but somebody took that. So they gave me three, and I like three. And uh, one of my cousins who passed away, he was number three. So, you know, it's a good representation of him. So, yeah. Maybe it's a sign. Could be a sign. Hmm. So, how did you end up in Finland? Uh, well, I threw a plan with the Vienna Vikings. Uh, Finland had reached out to me uh, right after the season. And, you know, they just kept showing interest and interest. Um, and so at the end of the day, I just, I, you know, I wanted them to wait, but I was like, uh, you know, they have been showing a lot of, you know, love. And, you know, I already know some of the players that was here and it was good to reconnect with them. So that's why I decided to come back to Finland. Okay, what's your, what's your history with uh, football? Um, what do you mean now? Like, well, your career and then how you started. Uh, started when I was young. We played. We call it stinger. Uh, first flag football. Then we played stinger as little kids with tackle, and then middle school, high school. Um, really didn't start playing my position. I was playing linebacker and running back all the way to my tenth grade year. And uh, my tenth grade year, we had a new coach, and you know he wanted to switch positions, and he wanted to put me on the defensive line. And you know my first year, I'm looking at everybody like. Everybody is so much bigger than me. Why? What is this dude thinking, bro? Why did he put me on here? But my 10th grade year, you know, I showed up. I did good. I was starting. And, you know, um, put my name on the map. And going to my 11th grade, 12th grade year, uh, offensive player of the year, um, college. Um, that's where it kind of all, you know, I kind of gained my confidence a little bit more. Uh, getting an All-American my sophomore year in college and becoming another two-time All-American all in my senior year. And, you know, that's when I really thought I could take it to the next level. You know, we all thought NFL, of course, you know, in the NFL, sort of like the NBA, you got to pass the eye test, meaning like if you got the size or, um, you know, if you're just big enough, uh, they want to see that. So I think for me, I was a little undersized. So, uh, yeah, kind of hurt, but, you know, I just prayed and kept moving on. And, uh, uh, and next was uh, Germany. I went to Germany. I was really scared. My family was really scared. And, um, you know, but when I went over there, uh, I didn't want to leave. I liked it so much. I wanted to stay. And then next year I went to Finland. Um, Finland was such a vibe. I was in uh, Kotka and, you know, I had fun there. And I didn't want to leave there either. Then the next year, um, also, all-star mm -hmm. in the Maple League in Finland. So this year, another all-star. Uh, and in Vienna, I uh, went to the Elf the next year after that. Uh, season didn't go the way I wanted to because of injuries. Um, I think that year really, like, set me down and kind of humbled me in a way, you know, because I was doing too much, you know, thinking this was the top league in Europe. I gotta do this, I need to work out more, I need to do that, I was doing too much for my body. And so uh, I think that year really taught me how to listen to my body and um, you know, just get the help that I need to take my my skills and talent to the next level. And um, I'm very thankful for that opportunity uh, that they still kept me through the injuries that I had. And then after the season, um, yeah, uh, I had the other countries, but Finland, like I said, Finland showed the most interest. And, you know, they just stayed in contact with me, especially Nessie and Timmy. Um, and, you know, they showed, they showed me that they really wanted me. So I decided, you know, just uh, come back to Finland. And it's been love ever since. It's always a vibe. Europe is just a vibe anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, most of the players like the Europe quite quite the atmosphere and the game culture. Maybe it's not like a lifestyle of, of people who are following it in here, but it's it's a different kind of passion for the sports. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I say it's different from the states. I say it's more. I hate to put it this way. It's more, you know, safe. 
Okay. Not saying I come from like a like a tough, you know, uh, a tough place. I mean, there are some places where I live that are like that, but like you don't see little kids walking around by themselves, going to school by themselves, uh, or you don't see, you know, women walking around like after 12 o'clock. So that was like, when I first came to Europe, that was like, I was like, where are these, where are these people's parents at? You know, or like, she is she okay to walk around here like that? You know, cause you don't see that like that. So that was very different for me. And um, I just feel like it's a, like I said, it's just a good vibe in Europe. You know, you don't have to look over your shoulder and stuff like that. So it's nice. Yeah. yeah. Safety is, is one of the key things, in, at least in Finland. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about a little bit the team this year. Uh, what are your feelings? I feel confident. Um, I feel like we're, you know, I don't, I don't want to brag and I don't want to speak too early, but you know, looking at other teams and looking at us, you know, our offense, uh, we got so much energy on the offense, and you know, we got the the O line. I think the O line might be the best O line in the league. Um, you know, we got Basel, who's the coach. Um, we got Otto, you know, he played for San Naoki. He's good. Um, we got the, we got the uh, right guard. I'm sorry if I forgot your name, bro. I'm just, yeah, I still got to learn everybody's <laughs> name, you know, so. There's so many in teams. Yeah. <laughs> Hard uh, to keep track. <laughs> yeah. And um, we got, we got Robert. Robert's a great addition to the team, you know. I feel like we don't, on Robert's side, you don't have nothing to worry about because he's going to get the job done. Uh, Veti, I played with Veti at Kaka, so um, you know he was he was I have to say he was one of the best offensive linemen we had in Kaka, and this year he has coaching by Basel and a little bit by Robert as well. So I think he's gonna go to another level, which he wants to. He wants to get that coaching, so I know he wants to be good, which is which is great. Um, and of course, you know we got Josh. You know I'm gonna be honest with you, he talked a whole lot of smack in camp, and I was just like. Bro, like, you know, who do you think you are to be talking like this? And, um, but he's backed it up. And, you know, I respect him a lot. I think he's a great player. Um, definitely could be offensive player of the year, if that's a thing. Um, AB, he, you know, them boys come from the same place, so they both talk trash. <laughs> yeah, so, but I like it. I feed off of that. You know, it, it puts me, it puts me in another level as well. And um, AB gonna get the job done. He wants it. You know, he's hungry. I can tell that he wants it. And um, we got the other wide receivers, the the Chilate, <laughs> one of the one of the brothers. You know, I I didn't see honestly before the season. I didn't really, I didn't really know too much about him. And I looked at him. I was like, he's gonna get the job done. And he's been getting the job done. <laughs> Dude is, he, he's quiet, but you know, he he's a good he's good on the field. Yeah. And I respect his game. Uh, also, number seven, once again, bro, I don't know. I got to get to know everybody's names again. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh, taxi. Uh, yeah, and we, our wide receiver group is just, you know, I don't think we got nothing to worry about. I think we got a lot of threats, you know. You, if you double one, somebody's going to be wide open because their speed and their agility is just, you know, off the charts. Um, running back position, you know, Marnold. Marnold's a good. Uh, we lost Isaac. Isaac's just gonna be out for a little bit, but you know I hope he comes back. Praying for his recovery. Uh, Marno is a um, you know he's a upfield runner. You know he likes to just get low and just you know run over. And then we got the young guy behind him, which can run too. So we got two threats. The young guy is gonna be good when he gets older and gets more football experience. Defense wise, we said we got a D line. The D line is good. Not just me, but everybody. You know. You double me, I'm pretty sure. Double or triple team me. Somebody else is going to come open on the D-line. Um, we got Carlton in the back. I came, you know, after seeing his college resume, I was very impressed. And, you know, he showed on the field. And he has leadership on and off the field. Um, our linebacker group is, you know, they're good. We had a young guy play last game because uh, Tony got hurt. Um, yeah. And the young guy, you know, which surprised me, you know, because he, he led the team in tackle that game. That kind of blew my mind. I was like, what? I was like, yeah. Okay, I see what type of time we're on. I can't let that, you know, 
But he did good, and I'm very happy for him because I asked him. I was like, you nervous? He said, a little bit. <laughs> I said, you're going to be fine, man. And, um, you know, he showed out. He did good. I think he had like seven or eight tackles. So I'm very proud of him in our corners. Um, you know, we're good on the corners. I, I think we should be good on the secondary. Um, I don't think we have no problems there. Um, so, yeah. It's a good team. All together. It's a good team. I think we're. I think we got a lot of people in the right positions to to make the plays and get it done. So, yeah. So, what do you bring to the team? What I bring to the team, I might not be the person who's always, you know, like let's go, but on the field, I will get you right. You know, I will bring that energy on the field. I like to lead by how I play. You know, um, I, I like to get everybody to the next level. That would be the offensive line, Josh, uh, my, my, my D lineman, who else like, you know, I think that the offensive linemen during camp, I really think they got better uh, after camp. You know, they were going against me, not saying, you know, it's just me, but um, they got faster because they seen how fast and explosive I was and they felt like, I, I guess they seen, oh, I gotta be more quicker and be on my P's and Q's. So they got better as well. And I can tell, and other players uh, said it too, that they felt like they got better. Um, and when Noam, uh, our defensive line coach, was here, I had to coach the D-line. And they said, the, the players said they felt like they got better as well, being a more explosive, you know, position and uh, how, they, how they get in their stance and just using their hands and just firing off the ball with like power. So that was good to hear. Um, and. Josh, like when I'm getting through the line, he, you know, it gives him, I think like it makes him think, I guess, quicker or react faster. Cause, uh, you know, it was a lot of, big, a lot of times in practice he'd be frustrated cause I get there so fast. Uh, but he said, you know, it, it's only gonna make him better. And I feel like it has, even though he's already, he's already a good quarterback. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Describe your typical training day. Uh, Mondays, Mondays I do upper body, and then um, I try to eat four to five meals a day. Really? Yeah. That's a lot of food. It's digging in my pockets too. Took a lot of money out of my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> we need more sponsors so we can get more food. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> yeah, please. If you're out there, please sponsor us. We we need to eat, dog. <laughs> we gotta eat. Um, yeah, and then we got practice. Uh, now we have practice at like six thirty. We're gonna be there at six o'clock, six thirty, and then after, and then we have no, we want film meeting, and then we have practice after that, and then I'll go back to the gym after that. Really? Yeah. And then try to eat again and go to sleep Tuesdays, lower body day, just one time a day. I don't want to do too much on my legs. And then Wednesdays, I'll go back to the gym two times a day. Thursday, upper body day. Friday, just once, but taking it easy. Uh, but I got to go see Posse. Oh, I forgot. I got, as a matter of fact, I don't know why I didn't say that from the beginning. <laughs> I got to credit my body right now to Posse. He has got me right. Um, I never, I told him I never met, I had somebody to work on my muscles. So um, it was, it was nice just to, you know, I've been just searching for somebody to help me like work like deep, deep tissue. And just cause when he first worked on me, he was like, dude, you're tight. Your muscles are really tight. And you know, he worked with me and he's been a huge help, huge blessing. And I, you know, credit my game to him because you know, my hamstrings, my legs, my shoulders, everything, my calves, they feel good. I'm ready to go each week. So, you know, all that credit goes to Posse. Huge help. Glad to hear. Yes, he's a very valuable member. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So describe your typical game day and do you have any game rituals? Each year is different. I think I put my, I might put my clothes on like in an order. I have, oh. to, put, I have to put my socks on first. Then I put my drawers on second. Then I put my shorts, shirt. Then I gotta wear my necklace, you know? Um, I gotta, I gotta get in my usual seat. I have to sit in the same seat in the bus, which is the second to the back. Can't mess with that seat, okay? Uh, Remember, that's very important. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I have certain songs that I listen to. 
Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, Katy Berry, You're on Fire, or like... <laughs> I know the songs. And even if that was, I wouldn't say that, because that's going to ruin my street cred. I know! <laughs> they wouldn't think I'm a man. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it's more future Drake, Young Thug, Lil Dirk, NBA. I'm going to yeah. touch stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Does it is it meant to be to calm you down? No, nah, it's, it's, it's just like to pump nah, you up. I need to get me mad. I gotta get mad. Okay. I gotta get mad. So, uh, yeah. On the way back, then I started listening to maybe some Katy Perry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something like that. On the way back, but on the way up there, I need to get mad. I need yes. to get angry. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. That's that sounds very normal like for the player to just get into the mode and yeah, yeah after the win it's more relaxing yeah and unless doing. unless josh and ab piss me off by saying something crazy they don't but you know maybe <laughs> they, they, could. They, they could they could they yeah. could whatever might put me in the mood and then they, they matter of fact they always try to say hey jay money i heard that people were saying that this defensive lineman was better than you and i'd be like oh, why are you starting that again what, what, what is so you know, but you know, I mean, those guys are cool to be with. I don't, it don't really bother me. I, I have, I'm glad they're on the team. So. Okay. Yeah. What's your goal for the season? I think it's what everybody wants. One of these. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One of these, and just to contribute to the team any way I can. Just show, you know, that, you know, I, you know, show that I'm still in my prom. That I can still do it. I can still ball. Yeah, you know, just attack the ball every play and give it all I got. Yeah. Okay, for your fans, is there any fun fact that they don't know about you? I love Reese cups. So Are you like uh, what? I love Reese cups. Why? I don't know. Reese cups is a key to the heart. I love Reese cups. I've been, uh, you know, my mom used to get me Reese cups every time I would do something good. Ah. <laughs> and when I was in Vienna last year, the fans used to give me Reese cups. Huh. They were just yeah, so you know, I you know, I'm a big Reese Cup fan. Alright. So So in your team, if you would play another position. Running back. In your <laughs> ass. Why? Because I like to tote the rock. I did that two years ago in Carca and I scored some teddies. Okay. Yeah, and I hey, yeah. And I was that dude running the ball to the boys can't tackle me for real, for real. That's so why I'm telling this to stop playing and put me in there, man. It will happen. We're gonna, they're gonna, we're, I'm gonna be in there soon, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why they should have put me right back from the beginning. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have been in Finland. This is like your second time, right? Yeah. What are the top three things in Finland that you like? I like being by the. Uh, I like being by the water. Um, when I was in Kaka, you know, I stayed right beside like the Baltic Sea, so mm -hmm. uh, it was like a two minute walk there and um you know i just go out there sit down and just relax maybe do a little meditation um and here i can go to the harbor sit outside and just relax so the water is one of them um two man it's gotta be it's gotta be my teammates you know the teammates make it fun for you so it's always it's always a vibe especially uh when i was in kaka it was a vibe hanging out with the guys and here when we've hung out sometimes it's always been fun you know so that's been nice as well. Um, one more thing is, uh, oh, I recently went to uh, Karaoke. Uh huh. Oh, beautiful place. Beautiful, place. <laughs> beautiful Airbnb, beautiful place. I got to go back, but I need somebody's car. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, I just yeah, I gotta go back. So how about finished food? Yeah. Good, bad, questionable. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, What's the best so far? The chocolate. Ah! <laughs> yeah. The chocolate. Definitely. Uh, I don't know. I did a Finnish food tasting two years ago, and I was, yeah, it just wasn't the good memories. You know, I had ate the what the drunk the buttermilk. The old buttermilk, it's like an expired, it tastes like an old expired buttermilk. You know okay, I mean? yeah. And they have me eat the blood sausage. Oh, that's good. And I noticed that y'all are big fans of licorice. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. 
The color matches the finished soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, the chocolate is my favorite one. Okay. I love that chocolate. Okay. What would you say for the youth about the American football? Why they should try it out? Uh, I think it's something you should explore. You know, it could be a passion that you find. Um, also, if you have anger issues, <laughs> You know, it's a good way to get your anger out without going to jail. So, so, yeah, and it's a way for you to connect with other people and make friends. Um, I think I've, I've made a lot of friends through this game, um, a lot of life, uh, lifetime, lifelong friends. So um, that's something that's, that's very valuable and that you will cherish forever because you will meet a lot of people in this game and uh, you will stay in contact with those people. And... You know, it makes you want to work. It makes you work. It makes you have that drive to want to get better, not also in the game, but in life. And um, it gives you something to look forward to. And, yeah, it just makes you want to push yourself. And it might contribute to other factors in your life as well. So, yeah. Huh. Nice to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Any greetings for home, family, friends? Yeah. Uh, I miss... Miss you, Mom, Shan, RJ, Bo, my baby Simba. That's my dog. Okay. Uh, and the rest of the family. I can't call out everybody, but yeah, miss y'all. So, yeah. That's it. I'm not torturing you anymore. <laughs> That's all good. Was it difficult? No, not at all. You see? Oh, those pictures you took. Mm -hmm. I did have a few comments on those pictures. My pictures. The. Uh, Game day pictures mm -hmm. and what? No, they were good pictures. But I was like, "What are you looking at?" I said, "Did you see the picture she took?" I said, "I look so ah." Oh. Everybody looked good except for nah, I ain't gonna do that. we are ourselves biggest critics. That's true. So that's true. The more pictures you take, the more comfortable you become. You how think you so? Look. Mm. Trust me, I have forty years experience. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Okay. I got you. <laughs> so, and you know, the game day when I took you had probably put some water on your face or head or something. Oh, you did some coloring on it. No, I didn't do any coloring. Those are all iPhone pictures. Okay. You just did a lot of editing. No, I didn't do editing. Wait, you said you did some water on it. Yeah, you had some water. You poured yourself. It was so hot day. So, it doesn't look like, like, you were focusing on okay. just getting yourself cool. Okay. <laughs> I need some water on me now. Okay. <laughs>